AI system detects strange signals of unknown origin. As our technology continues to evolve, so has the search for alien life, as scientists based at the University of Toronto have begun to employ the help of AI in the quest to find alternate life. An international research team has been conducting a search for extraterrestrial life in a more streamlined manner than we have seen before. Up until now, we have seen lots of work by astronomers being conducted via SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. This work, which has been ongoing for upwards of a century, with dedicated international research since the 1980s, has used an array of radio telescopes in order to detect what is known as a technosignature. This field of study involves the monitoring of electromagnetic radiation for signs, signals, and other similar indicators that there may be life out there on other planets. Despite this research being conducted from well-considered and ideally located facilities, there is a common issue presented in the human interaction. Often disturbances can be picked up from phones, television stations, and other challenging factors. And whilst these techniques are still employed, new techniques are being introduced too. In recent years, this research has taken a grand leap forward, as researchers based at the University of Toronto have begun to implement the use of artificial intelligence in this same vein of study to limit those same human-introduced issues. An algorithm has been designed to organize the data gathered from these telescopes, dividing the data into distinct categories, allowing for a differentiation between what is a real, genuine signal and what is interference. This process has been introduced to the AI through a method called machine learning. This is the system by which the computer system begins to develop its own intelligence. It's a complicated and arguably controversial process by which AI computer systems begin to learn how to effectively think and behave independently, in a way somewhat comparable to humans. In this context, machine learning will enable the researchers to pour through the relevant information with much greater ease and with far quicker efficiency. This should make spotting patterns in such large data sets far simpler. Peter Ma, an undergraduate mathematics and physics student at the University of Toronto and first author of a research paper detailing this published in the Nature Astronomy Academic Journal, commented on the presence of interference in their observations. He explained that the difference is being able to distinguish between the radio signals from space to the uninteresting radio signals coming from down here on Earth. The team were able to effectively teach the AI to begin to sort and recognize these different signals by simulating the different varieties, showing the difference between signals that may be extraterrestrial and those that are deemed more likely to be human-generated. Prior to running these simulations, work had to go into selecting the machine learning algorithms, drawing comparisons between the precision, the statistical production of false positive rates, and then using these factors to select the aspects resulting in the most appropriate algorithm, which was eventually created by Ma. As it turns out, this new algorithm resulted in the discovery of eight radio signals that have been deemed potential transmissions from extraterrestrial intelligence. Further analysis has seen they were sourced from five different stars, ranging between 30 and 90 light-years away. What is most exciting, though, is that this same data has been studied before, without the use of AI, and these signals were not discovered at all. While it is certainly a possibility that these signals could be sources sent from extraterrestrial life and they follow the anticipated format, this doesn't automatically mean that that is what is being observed. James Webb Telescope Captures Countless Galaxies in New Image the images provided by the James Webb Telescope are truly phenomenal, providing glimpses and perspectives deemed unimaginable, with resolutions that are truly impressive. To us, these pictures are beautiful. For the experts, there is so much more contained within them. The lucky image selected as image of the month showcases a number of galaxies, with the spiral galaxy with the catchy name LEDA 2046648 being visible on the bottom left-hand side. This galaxy is more than a billion light-years away from us, and for those who are particularly well-versed in looking out for these feats, you can see this galaxy within the Hercules constellation. We have only just been able to lay our eyes upon this photo ourselves. It has been in the works for months. Webb has been on duty taking observations and measurements, obtaining images of exoplanets and galaxies for a few months now. 
During the commissioning process for the near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, known as NIRIS, one of many components of the Webb Space Telescope, we saw this photo come about. NIRIS was investigating a white dwarf star. While the near-infrared camera captured this stunning shot of LEDA 2046648 and its distant pals in the sky. One of the initial aims for the James Webb Space Telescope is to investigate what is going on within the distant universe. This image of LEDA 2046648 is not an example of deep field imagery, though this is one avenue that has provided a great deal of similar shots. Deep field imagery is one aspect of the Webb Telescope that lets us see the oldest light sources, a process that works via gravitational lensing, looking at how distant lights can become magnified and warped. It's truly amazing to see such a gorgeous photo, and even more amazing to know that there is so much more in it that we are yet to see. Four planets spin around star 130 light years away. Recently, experts have put together a time-lapse, capturing the observations taken over the span of 12 years and condensing them into just 5 seconds. This is the first time that a star extrasolar planetary system has ever been directly imaged. The short animation shows the movements of four planets orbiting their star 130 light-years away from Earth, and was compiled by a data sourced through the Keck Observatory, located in Hawaii. This is not an opportunity for new research advancements. It's hoped that the video will prompt inspiration and excitement, letting people wonder at the field as a whole. There is so much out there beyond our world. Being able to unravel some of the mysteries and discover some answers to the universe is truly exciting. Whether it's revolutionary findings or wonderful new perspectives, it will be fascinating to see what will be uncovered next. Scientists discover 5 billion light-years away galaxy Most things in space are unimaginably far from Earth, as the cosmos is expanding infinitely every minute, after all. But seeing beyond a certain distance becomes challenging due to the limitations of our current technology for viewing space. Recently, scientists were able to uncover a galaxy lurking an astonishingly 5 billion light-years away by employing a newly developed high-tech radio telescope. The team who made this fascinating discovery was associated with Australia's Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organisation and used the Radio Emission Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder or ASCAP telescope in the Murchison Radio Astronomy Observatory. This location is unique because of the so-called radio quietness, meaning there are less radio waves penetrating the space, making it easier to identify faraway cosmic objects that are sources of radio emissions. James Allison said that, at many observatories, this dip would have been hidden by background radio noise, but our site is so radio quiet it stood out clearly. The team was able to use the unique technologies of the telescope to detect the signature frequencies of the radio waves emanating from the galaxy as they passed through hydrogen gas. The changes in the emissions caused dips in the measured signal due to the slight absorption of radio waves by the surrounding hydrogen gas and these dips are what allowed the researchers to measure the distance of their astonishing 5 billion year journey to Earth. This astonishing result was brought about by technology that has allowed scientists to see significantly farther into space than they have ever been able to before, which will provide crucial information about the nature of bodies occupying the infinite cosmos around us. Researchers hope that the technology provided by the ASCAP telescope will be able to be utilized to view galaxies up to twice as far as this newly discovered galaxy. Being able to look back 10 billion years is of a special interest to researchers because this was the time when the universe was undergoing peak star formation. The rate of this process, which is fueled by hydrogen gas, has mysteriously decreased in the past millennia and researchers are anxious to discover why. The galaxy is several billion years younger than our own Milky Way, but still appears to have a magnetic field that is of a comparable configuration and strength to the field around our own galaxy. Brian Gainsler of the University of Toronto said that this means that the magnetism is generated very early in a galaxy's life by natural processes, and thus that almost every heavenly body is magnetic. 
The implication is that we need to understand magnetism to understand the universe. Observing galaxies at varying distances from Earth, such as this one, will allow astronomers to create a picture of how the universe came to be. Universe is a false vacuum There are a few ways that physicists have toyed with when it comes to theorizing about the destruction of the universe, and they generally have ominous names. The Big Rip, the Heat Death, and the Big Crunch. One particularly interesting hypothetical destruction is vacuum decay. Before diving into understanding vacuum decay, we need to backtrack and talk about Higgs field. Higgs field is a field of energy that permeates our universe. Similar to an electric field, Higgs field varies in strength. The power of Higgs field in any particular area is dependent on its potential. Another part of this operation is Higgs boson. Higgs boson is the foundational particle connected with Higgs field. It was proposed by Peter Higgs, Francois Eglert and four other theorists in 1964 and confirmed in 2012, resulting in a Nobel Prize for the scientists. The potential of Higgs field tells us whether the universe is in a state of true vacuum or false vacuum. A vacuum is a space entirely lacking in matter. It is also the stable lowest energy state. Currently, the universe is in a false vacuum state called metastable. It's not actively decaying, but it is also not completely stable. Two glaring issues to consider when living in a metastable universe are that a high enough energy event can in theory take a small region of the universe from the false vacuum into the true vacuum. This would create a domino effect of a true vacuum that would expand in all directions at the speed of light. Such an event would be lethal. The second issue is that the tiny particle can create a passage through a boundary between one region and another. This could include tunneling through to the vacuum state. So, a universe in a metastable false vacuum has the potential to suddenly be partly in a true vacuum state, which would be detrimental. The possibility of vacuum decay has been weighing on the mind of researchers recently because the measurements of Higgs boson seem to indicate that the vacuum is now metastable. This might seem like a reason to feel alarmed and move into a state of existential dread. However, the life of a metastable universe is predicted to be substantially longer than the life of the current universe. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.